Published 1639 Eastern Standard Time, the 6th of March 2018. Updated 1750 Eastern Standard Time, the 6th of March 2018. Sunderland's top goalscorer added to his tally at the Stadium of Light. The only problem for Black Cats boss Chris Coleman is that Lewis Graben now plays for Aston Villa. Coleman did not know that the 12-goal Bournemouth Loney had chosen to quit the club in January until he got a call saying he had cancelled his accommodation, later joining Villa on a deal until the end of the season. And it could well be that Graben's goal plays a part in sending Sunderland packing towards League One, for it is difficult to see them recovering from their position at the bottom of the championship after another demoralising night in front of their own fans, who again mocked the team with a chorus of We're F asterisk 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 asterisk. Lewis Graben celebrates after scoring Aston Villa's opening goal on Tuesday evening. James Chester is also clearly delighted after he doubled his side's advantage in the first half. Connor Auerahan runs off in celebration after Brian Oviedo's own goal put his side three ahead. Sunderland, 3 5 2. Steele, Kone, O'Shea, Dwarasoro, 46. Browning, Jones, 30. Love, Catamole, Ajaria, Oviedo, McManaman, McGeady, Fletcher subs not used. Williams, Lulua, Camp, Honeyman Bookings. Love. Oviedo Aston Villa, 4 4 1 1. Johnston, El Mohammadi, Chester, Terry, Taylor, Snodgrass, Auerahan, Whelan, Jedinak, 60, Adama, Hogan, Graylish, 67, Grabin, Bjarnason, 76, Subs not used, Lansbury, Anoma, Bunn, Davis Goals, Grabin, 34, Chester, 45, Oviedo, Og, 66, Bookings, Chester, the same cannot be said of Villa, who under former Sunderland manager Steve Bruce have now won 9 of the last 11 and are 7 points behind leaders Wolves, who they host on Saturday. It was owner Ellis Short who got rid of Bruce in 2011 hastily, on reflection, and he fears for the club while the American remains at the helm. At present, Short is struggling to give away the club for nothing. This club needs change, said Bruce. A great club as it is, if you don't do things properly you'll get in a mess. I've looked at it from afar and it's been in this situation for a while now, so it's been coming. Villa have class and experience throughout their side and the addition of Grabin, with three goals in as many games, could well prove the difference in their charge for automatic promotion. We managed to get a striker bang in form, 12 goals in 18 games here for a team bottom of the league, added Bruce. He's actually better than I thought he was. Grabin knocks the ball past Sunderland goalkeeper Jason Steele in the 34th minute. Chester used his head to double Aston Villa's advantage at the Stadium of Light. James Chester and an own goal by Brian Oviedo completed a routine win after Grabin's first half breakthrough and, come the end, it looked as if Sunderland had more players on the pitch than they did supporters in the stands. Apathy reigns on where side and the majority did not even hang around to boo their side, who have not won in eight attempts and never looked like scoring hip, let alone salvaging any points. Coleman said, it was a poor, poor night for us. It feels like we're back to square one. The only light is that teams around us keep losing, so are we going to go down with a whimper? Or are we going to have a go? Maybe it's good that we're away from home at QPR on Saturday. We're struggling here. Sunderland should have taken the lead 60 seconds before Grabin's opener when Donald Love sprang Ashley Fletcher clear on goal. But the striker, on loan from Middlesbrough, overran the ball and the shot never came. Then came the inevitable, Grabin turning in with his head at the far post from Albert Adamer's teasing delivery. It was two on the stroke of half-time, Chester heading home from Robert Snodgrass in swinging corner. The second half was a procession and former Sunderland Academy player Connor Auerahan forced the third when his cross deflected in off Oviedo. You would not be at all surprised if these sides are separated by two divisions next season. A Sunderland supporter shows his dejection as his side continue their slide towards relegation. A frustrated Chris Coleman watches on as his team struggle against the promotion hopefuls Oviedo knocks the ball into the back of the Sunderland net to condemn his side to defeat.